teachers and parents. So far in this series, I have been sharing lots of ways for you to engage students and get them excited about learning at home. We've talked about math, we've talked about ELA, and we've talked about social studies. So today is all about science. Let's get started. Now today I'm filming in my kitchen because the kitchen is the perfect place to teach science because you can do all kinds of science experiments and STEM challenges from your kitchen using the materials that you have all around you. Now I highly encourage if you're a parent to find some science experiments that you can do at home with your child. It does not have to be complicated at all. If you get on Pinterest and search for easy science experiments for kids, you will find hundreds of things that you can do right now that don't involve you ordering supplies or going to the market to find things. One thing that's really popular in upper elementary when it comes to teaching science is having the annual science fair where the students have a big science experiment that they complete and then they create a visual presentation about it and people come and see what they did and the students are really proud of their work. Well, this can be a little hard to do right now since students can't go to school. But what if I told you you can still have a science fair inside of your home and it doesn't involve having people come inside of your home to view what the students have done? Consider working with a couple of other families and have the child from each family do a science fair experiment, create the display and their board the same way that they normally would. Then, instead of hosting your science fair in one room where a bunch of people have to come together, get together on something like Google Hangouts or Zoom and allow each student to share what they've created and do their presentation that way so they can see each other and interact with each other and still be proud of what they have created. Now, if you're looking for a way to review science skills at home, task cards are a great way to do it. I have created another YouTube video all about ways to use task cards, so I highly recommend that you check that out. It has all kinds of activities that can be done at home, in the classroom. You can definitely find something for you. And if you're looking for science task cards, I have science task cards for almost every single science unit if you check out my Teachers Pay Teachers store. So these are things that you can easily just print off the computer and create activities with for your child to do at home. Now, if you're a teacher, you may be looking for activities that you can send home to your students. And if you're a parent, you may be thinking, wow, some of the science stuff is really hard and I don't know how to get started. If either one of those describes you, I have got you covered. I have created science units for third, fourth, and fifth grade. Each of these units come with a combination of digital and PDF activities so they can be sent to students if you're a teacher. They come with detailed uh, lesson plans, they have instructions for experiments, they have links to videos, they have worksheets. Literally everything you need to teach a science unit can be found here. And even if you're a parent thinking like, I don't know a whole lot about science, don't worry because these lesson plans will walk you through the process. So I highly recommend that you check those out. I hope that your kids enjoy completing these science activities at home. And if you know of any other science activities that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. Last, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that way you never miss out on any of my latest teaching tips. Happy teaching!